Peace be upon you guys at home. Here we are again with some Assassin's Creed. How do I get rid of a marker? Just had to uh, back back pedal my way back here where I uh, we left off last time. We did the funny flag challenge in this area as we collected intel on our next target. The world is our oyster now, or at least the Levant is anyway, as we now have targets in all three major cities. When we started off in Damascus, going after target number four, the cruel regent Abul Nuqad, some sort of merchant prince, I believe. Shall we review our uh, intel on this guy real quickly? I think that's a grand idea. The merchant king, he has received a vast quality of wine. Quality? Quantity, don't know about the quality. He's preparing for a feast. His religion says no, but he says yes, and he guess he's the regent, so he gets to do that. Next up, uh, we have learned about some scaffolding left inside the palace. So if we come in from the front, we're gonna be able to skirt from the left side. I'm assuming we're gonna come in from here. I mean, that's where the arrows is going, and we will be able to enter from the back over here. Alternatively, I believe this is an alternative choice, there is a big old fountain in the middle of the palace, which we could go through the right using the fountain like that. So there's two modes of entry into the Merchant King's palace. But, pardon me, I we did unlock one more intel thing we can do, this interrogation, so I felt that we could probably go snag that and then uh, run on down over to the bureau and prepare for that assassination. So we're gonna go interrogate that guy, get some little more extra intel. You never know where that could come up. So I think that's a smart move to do since we have the opportunity here. Sir, I think these guys over here don't like me climbing on their rooftops. Let me just camp in here for a bit. Ow, ow. Ow, look at that, just letting my wounds heal in this hay bale. The restorative properties of this hay, the hay bale, the... What? Okay, cool. I don't know what the heck that guy just said, but sure. Uh, yeah, this is interesting, this area we're in, this like little sequestered area. It's behind walls. There's less people here, too. Just kind of curious feel in this area, this partition of Jerusalem. Jerusalem, we're in Damascus. I'm getting my cities mixed up. So, just a little note, stuff we learned about last time. We are going after Abul Nuqad. The other guys we are going after are uh, William V of Montferrat in Acre. And I th think his name was Majdadin, if I saw correctly, loading in the game. The memory block display mentioned it, who is the uh, regent in Jerusalem. And William of Montferrat made me do a spit take since I had looked up all that trivia on Conrad of Montferrat and was like, wait, well, who the heck is William then? William of Montferrat is a real person. In fact, there's 12 people called William of Montferrat in Wikipedia alone, which was like, oh, all right then. Our evenings are now filled with light. And uh, William V, the guy we're talking about, the real life William, he was Conrad's father. This is that curious. So we're going after Conrad's dad in this game. His men tend to the fires that we might be warm. His kindness knows Oh, there's a guy. Oh, oh. I thought I, I didn't realize I was being all checked out there, but cool. I was, and now I'm being chased down by these lads. Man, I am not doing good time on... Come on. There we go. Oh, geez, there's a guy right over here. No, Altair, I would like you actually to jump up this thing. Oh, my God, here comes a crew. Okay, there's a place that looks promising. It's going to have to... This is a long jump. Oh, there's a river in the way. I'm not going to make that jump. Okay. Oh, that looks promising. Just need to throw these guys off a little longer. Really? These guys are really on my tail. Alright. 
Well, this one should work, right? There we go. Just gonna... Before... No! That happens to me every time! I'm like, oh boy, and I'm gonna hide, and then... Well, this time I screwed it up. Normally what happens is I get spotted at the very last second as I'm getting into my hidey hole. This one went less... Well, I actually mistimed that jump. So yes, but more talk on William the Fifth once we're actually in Acker going after the guy. But indeed, do know, guys, that this is another historical figure. One of many in this game, apparently. We haven't had so many as I expected, but... Certainly... Oh my God, these guys are really on my tail this time. Oh, great. Oh! No! I was gonna sit down! Why? Oh, because I was holding down the right button. Oh, man, that is on my ass. Absolutely. I was thought I really had it this time, but I blew it super hard. Do we just get past these people? So... Yeah, I'm blowing it this time. Okay, here we go. There we go. <laughs> okay, remember to take the finger off the, the free run thing. There we go. Well, another real bungler of an episode opener, isn't it? Oh, well. It's all good. I think these guys have already forgotten who I am. Sure, fine, fine with me. Oh, I'm back here. I'm out, I ran all the way out here, outside of this uh, cordoned off area. I think we do need to go in there to get to those, get to that guy, that interrogation target. I was already like, I was doing the Batman thing again, which is bad. I was skulking above that guy who was having a speech. But, which I should have learned by now, do not do the Batman thing in this game. That always ends badly. This is way more about the Hitman blending in thing than it is about the Batman thing. Although, I do have to level a bit of a criticism against the game, is... The game does want us to do a fair bit of parkouring about and, like, sneaking up on people. I mean, those tips we're getting on the assassination targets often highlight, like, routes to get in and get, like, a vantage point on your enemy. Stuff like that. And in that light, I don't like how hard it is to... How tricky it is to... To, like... How tricky it, it seems to be at times to uh, avoid the enemies in this game, if you've noticed, like... Because um, there's no real good mechanics for knowing when you're being spotted, like... That thing will blink off, but sometimes I'm totally fine, and sometimes an archer has, has his eyes on me. I mean, when they yell us to get, go away, that's like a sign that uh, we are being uh, watched and it's about time to scamper, but in general... So, I think that's a little counterproductive that the, that the game insists on, uh, insists on uh, having us do like this parkour and kind of sneaking up on enemies and stuff, but then there aren't a lot of great tools for, like... You need tools for um, spotting enemies and like knowing their awareness level and all sorts of stuff like that. I think this game, while it does have some of it with that blinking indicator and whatnot, I think uh, this game is still a little light on that. But really, that should just teach us to try to avoid those kinds of uh, sneaking about, skulking about, and trying to sneak up on people situations unless it's absolutely necessary. So I will try to be more careful about that. I haven't been listening to this guy at all, but I'm glad we're in, by the way. I think he's... Everything we now have, we have because of him. He's hyping up Abul. The Merchant King provides yes. for one and all. He asks for nothing in return. Let his generosity serve as an example to us all. Everyone should strive to be as he... It's certainly a lavish feast he's setting up for a guy who doesn't ask for anything. Oh no, he's walking into the cordoned off area. Are they gonna let me through? Don't mind me. Okay. Well, we're gonna have to do this again, but these damn guards over here. God, I hope these archers don't look this a ways. Oh, they're gonna get angry, I know. Alright, there we go. 
we're back inside area. We did not... We, we, we were gonna get spotted. The guy was super fine with our parkour, all things considered. That's a one saving grace, I guess, is the weird AI. <laughs> I would be a little more alarmed if there was a guy monkey climbing around like that, but what do I know? Okay, so that was the challenge in this interrogation mission, was... Uh, was uh, being able to, like, follow the guy into this blocked-off area. And now we can open up on him. Just give him a... Oh, ooh, you want to play tough with the guy? There we go. I'll talk, I'll talk. I've no interest in dying for him. His coin's not worth my life. Oh! Nice decision. What is it you want? I have business with the Merchant King. Ha! Huh? Good luck with that. He rarely leaves his chambers. Why? Is he afraid? Not fear. Hate. He hates himself as much as he hates the people he pretends to serve. Really? Locks himself away in his personal quarters out of shame. He can't stay hidden forever. No. No celebrations of his. He comes out to speak. To look down upon the people. A sense of belonging, I suppose. However brief. What's wrong with him that he would hide like this? <laughs> You'll see. Now let me go. Let you go? That's you ominous. Of my plan? You follow a false guy. I won't oh. say a thing. No, you won't. I have to say, I know I guess it is necessary, as Altair points out here, but I feel real bad that we ice these guys after after we 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 squeeze them for information. I know, I know, I know. They're it's 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 a grim job assassination, so let's not try to uh, pretty it up and like these probably these guys probably are fairly corrupt. These guys we're going after in this game. Someone spotted me already. Just just wanted to get that flag. Don't know. Some guy on a rooftop, definitely. But uh, oh well, got the flag before things got serious. It's all good, it's all good. Alright, so we could still hunt down info, I'm sure. There's... I think there's like... I think there were six. It said like out of, something out of six here. But now we got four blips. Best time to strike the Merchant King is when he addresses his guests. The moment may be brief, but it will be all I need. Ah, that's advice on when to hit him. Interesting. We just need to find the position to get him. And we need to remember, I, I'm gonna live under the assumption that um, these targets, they, they, they know to be alarmed, so I always have to blend in when I think I'm nearby them. I can't just walk around regularly. Maybe with his guards I can, but... Oh. Yahoo! But with his... But with the target himself, I'm gonna assume he's paranoid enough to no to be alarmed. Oh, cool! There's a little route here as well. Only problem is this guy right here. Excuse me. Leave, peasant, before I make you. <laughs> Man, okay, well, I mean, I can't really complain since I've had horrible luck with the uh, enemy AI, but I do like that sometimes these guys... It is a little odd that sometimes these guys, like, don't auto-aggro in a lot of situations where you expect they would. Like, there's absolutely that kind of situation where you run in from a restricted area in a place like this. You would expect him to auto-aggro, but I guess AI just isn't that advanced in this game. Just go on, got another Saracen flag. Uh-oh, gotta watch out for these guys. These shove-happy vagrants, whatever they are, I don't know. Sure, whatever you say, buddy. Oops, I knocked over that guy's stuff. That's not good. Let's... Oh, hold on. Is there a person to save here? I forgot all about that. I guess we're taking care of that before we go. And I could get this point here. It's fairly close, this viewpoint. So I guess we'll take care of a little business while we head for... Excuse me, and... All right, I, I got it two people once. But not this time. Ah. Go. There 
we go. Knock him and give him a slice on the ground. Ooh, counter. Finish him off. And, oh. Ooh, he grab broke me. All right. I was going to try and put the guy into the wall. I wonder if that's like a more advanced AI, though, that uh, because I favored the grabs a little bit, like the AI is like, well, I got to grab break more. Well, situation's all good. Don't worry. Oh, God. Oh, immediately a guy walks in. Aggroing at me. Sure. Whoa. Fortunately, this time, this hay bale was right where I needed. Also, a nice little team of penitent monks I could have tried hiding in. But let's go for the simple solution for now. Avoid stress that way. And hey, we're right here where we need to be to climb this point. Now, if it unlocks another intel thing, I guess I'll take care of it. Might as well. The intel things are really fun, I find. Where's there a guy? Hold on. Where am I being... All right, it's all good. Was there a guy? There's a guy over there, right? These rooftops are guarded. Um, am I gonna make this jump? Okay, here we go. Hoo-ya! Ouchies! That ended badly. How am I gonna climb this building? Maybe I'll just do it the boring way. Let's try this. Climb this route here, and yes, reach the ledge. Okay, cool. I'm still. I, I still can't tell if this is the. Uh, some sort of government building, or if this is the mosque. We were given some descriptions of these areas, so I... Personally, I'm a little lost still. It's certainly a lavish building. I straight up... I think I said previously there's no way this is a mosque, because this doesn't look like a religious building. Let's be real, I don't know nearly enough about... Yeah, Muslim architecture to make a call either way, so this could just as well be... Just as well it could be a... Uh, it could be the mosque that uh, the bureau guy was talking about. Oh man, we're gonna get a nice, another nice view. Didn't we? Yeah, we climbed another one of these uh, minarets on this building, didn't we? And that was like a crazy high spot, as I recall. So, I guess we'll get another nice view. And there's the palace. I am like 100% sure that's where Nuquad is. Because it, it's just, the shape is so like the one in the intel. It So I'm, I'm... I'm like sold at this point, it has to be it. That is a big shiny golden dome. Maybe maybe it is a maybe it is a mosque roof after all. Uh, oh boy, this is uh real high up. Oh I wonder if the other tower is even higher though. It looked kind of very high there. That's really cool, there's like this look at that rooftop area over the river down there. It looks really neat. It's uh down that away. Yeah, no, wait, that's not the river. I, that's the river's right there. I'm an idiot. That's just a rooftop part of the part of the road, which also looks really neat. <laughs> looks dandy. Maybe that's the souk. I, I don't think a souk has to be roofed, but I've always had the impression that a souk is like a roofed market, or at least like a courtyard in market, not just not a completely open area. All right, we did not unlock any new uh, investigations. So, our only choice is to jump! Boy! That went fine. Although there might be another citizen to save on the way. Oop, pardon me. It kind of looked like it would come up to us while we're heading to the bureau. We'll take care of that as well. Okay, well, we're going to miss it a little bit, actually, so let's not worry about it. It might come up when we, uh... Ugh, I do that all the damn time. I, like, I, I keep... You know what the problem is? I keep thinking if I hit jump, I'm going to get some extra height, like he, like, scrambles up the wall. I think Tomb Raider had a mechanic like that, but I need to, like, de-learn that. That is super not how this game works. There is no, like, second scramble jump. Maybe in later ones, sure, but not in this one. But, uh, yeah. That's that's why I've been blowing these with these jumps off the wall so much lately. I keep, in the panic, I keep wanting to gain extra extra height. and Nope, not how it works. Keep just, just 
Drill that in your head, Minsk. Oh, wow. Second, that looked a little bad. There we are. Oop. Okay, it's fine. We'd have a high drop, but it's all good. All right. Now listen up, dude. How may I serve you? I've done as asked and learned all I need to know about my prey. Then you must share your knowledge with me. Abu Naqud is corrupt to the core and despised by his own citizens as a result. It appears he's been stealing money meant for the people of Damas and spending it on himself. Even as we speak, he flaunts his greed, preparing for a lavish party. His guards and servants should have their hands full dealing with the guests. They won't even know I'm there. Most impressive, my friend. The others said you'd make a mess of things, but not I. No, I was sure you'd come through. And Gee, come thanks. Through the bureau is yours to do with as you please until you're ready to begin. All right, let's get ready to party. Fast forwarding. Uh, quite literally this time, given that the guy's throwing a lavish party. When he strikes, it, comes out during his feast to speak with his people. I have to see how we set this up. See if I can use that thing to climb up, like climb up behind him. If he's gonna have like a speech on a speech on like a uh, on a like a balcony here, which is where this keeps wanting us to go. If there's a balcony here that he's speaking over these people, then definitely I need to sneak up there myself to take the guy out. We'll see. I. The, the the little background story that the guy we beat up provided is fascinating. This man is a bad guy for sure, but this very curious backstory about self-loathing and everything. Very curious. Okay, this is where we're... Okay, I tried to Batman myself over here again, but I screwed it up real bad. I don't think there is any jump down attack. Or I haven't unlocked one yet, if there is one. Ah, there we go. Oh. <laughs> oh, parry, repost. Ha ha. Oh, ah, meant to do a grab break, but didn't quite work out, now did it? I only just learned a skill, like, a couple episodes ago, so I'm like, don't really remember to use it yet. That's that. It was nothing, my friend. Should we grab this one viewpoint as well, since it's so close? I think I think we will take care of this one viewpoint. It's it's right here. Okay. There we go. Made it up here. Really? You can't climb the Okay, yes you can. I was like, wow, that totally looks like a peg you could climb, but Oh jeez. Of course there's a guy around here. And now he's gonna turn around and be like, stop you right there. Okay, cool. I made it back here before he did. Like, that's what I mean. I'm like thinking of all these like techniques for avoiding enemies, but they just really easily tell you. Tell when you're trying to avoid them. The, the line of sight seems to trump a lot of other techniques for avoiding attention. And of course, blending in, but that's a little difficult when you're walking on a rooftop. I don't think that's gonna sell with these guys. I don't know. Let's just get this here in this nook corner. Do a bit more gazing upon town. And what do you know, by the way? We're running exactly at the building I expected. So there you go. Not a not a not a big twist that that's where we're going. What is cool is that there's another roofed part of that roofed highway. Kind of neat. Boing. Don't mind me, everybody. Let's just get... Excuse me? Okay, for a second I thought the freaking Tasmanian tiger was down there making a mess of things, but sure. Hi there. Don't mind me, just taking your flag. He was surprisingly chill about that. Alright then. 
Oh, come on, I'm just climbing a ladder. You guys aren't okay with me using this ladder? All right. Oh, oh, look at this. Here's a problem. Hello. What do you want? Yeah, I don't know why I keep thinking that'll work someday, but it didn't. Now, we have not unlocked any scholars to help us walk in the same way we did with uh, Garnier de Naplou. So, let's keep sneaking around. By the way, he pronounced it Abul Nakud. Well, no, I, 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 he didn't say Nakud, but that's what the spelling looks like to me. I'm, 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 I'm unclear a little bit on the pronunciation. Are you kidding me? There's a Templar guy here. Why are there these, like, obvious Crusader knights hanging out in... I mean, listen, this guy is, like, screaming out Richard's crew, and this guy is in earshot. What is going on? Why are these guys hanging out in these places? That's, like, the weirdest thing in... Well, I don't know, but it's certainly one of the weirdest things I find in this game, is these guys. I do not understand their role in this game. There we go. Ooh. All right, cool. Then he was ready to put an arrow right in me. Let's see if he turns around. Ooh, that's not gonna help while we're hanging there. Oh. All right, you just hang out there. Let's us. And here we go! We've invited ourselves into the party! Now the guards can't say no to us. Now then, let's... Once again, let's look at... I want to take the scaffolding route first. That looked the sneaky sneakiest. So... Let's have a look. See... Okay, so we walk in the front door. Yeah, and it's gonna be on the left of this courtyard. All right. Let's just jog in here. See, I just want, and once again, I'm like, I want to press against this wall, do like a good old sneaky sneak, but that just isn't what this game's designed for. So we won't do that. Yeah, there's the balcony, I figured. That's where we want to get to. Scaffolding, I don't see any scaffolding. There's a statue though, but all these people here, I don't know. Ooh, ooh, ominous party music. Oops, sorry, madam. I don't see any scaffolding. Oh, we actually can't do any climbing around. I guess we have to... I guess we have to walk in and listen to the speech, maybe. Ooh, sorry, madam. Before we can get to work. 